So you guys, I did my wig yesterday, right? And the, it is beach waves, right? So I did it yesterday and it's kind of like it fell out. So if you guys have any tips on how I can keep my curls, beach waves, whatever, voluptuous for at least a couple of days, let me know. I put a little bit of this spray on there yesterday, this finishing spray. The one I showed you guys and it didn't really hold and I mean I know I can put like got to be goose plate spray and all that good stuff but recommend something that doesn't make it all crunchy I don't want it to be crunchy I don't want it to be how spray does it how spray makes it all hard I don't want that I can ask my teacher as well I'm gonna ask her today like how do I what do I use to keep my curls looking good because i didn't even get to wear them yet and they all falling out i actually should have put my wig on before i did my put my oil on my face because now i have to wipe it all off get it together wipe it all off my hairline that's what i meant but you guys like how I did, did my little two ponytails? I should have actually put them a little further back. I feel like they're too close up. I feel like a little kid. If I have time, I'll, I'll do it over. But if I don't, it's staying. Anyways, I'm using the Bold Hold Active. This is my second time using this one. I don't think I've ever used it before. Other than the, when I first bought it. So we gonna see what to do with it. Make sure that it's, this should be perfect. Oh. Hey, you guys, I'm dropping down the doggone camera. I just wanted to get on here and say hi, you guys. I just finished lecture. The lecture is really good. I really, 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 really love this teacher. She keeps us um interested she keeps the lecture like like she keeps us involved and want to be involved it's not like she's just reading from the book like okay this is eco nithium this is a, like it's like she and she knows she's she's a very good teacher let's just say that so yeah we learned about nails discoloration diseases all kinds of stuff and it's very informative and she makes us take notes and we have to turn in our notes to show that we made the notes and it's not like no long paragraph notes it's like straight to the point what state board looks for when we do the written test so i'm like okay well this is going to be a good thing so she makes us buy the individual notebooks which i showed you guys before and we write down and we write colors and we like keyword like highlight the keywords of what they're going to be looking for what words they possibly could use so i look pink because i have pink um i have pink well red pink whatever i have pink blinds and they're closed right now and the sun is shining so i'm gonna open my blinds hold up one second 
Here we go. I guess it's a little better. Much better. Wait. So yeah, you guys, today we're gonna be doing nails, which I'm so excited. You guys know I love nails. I wanna specialize in nails, so today is gonna be so much fun for me. So she told us to come and get all our nail stuff ready to go, so that's what I'm going to do. I was trying to say this this morning, but I couldn't. But today, this morning, I was praying and worshiping God, and I actually had someone come back in my life. Well, not really come back in, but like, I guess, like, want that close relationship that we had. I guess, quote unquote. And I was kind of like standoffish because the way we stopped kind of like being close, if you want to say that, was because of a certain situation, like um, as far as like someone talking bad about someone, whether it be someone who loves, a friend, family, whomever. I don't get down like that, you know? But my maybe in the past time, you know, I used to do all that, that's fine. But the person that I am today, talking from the person that I am today, I try to line up everything that I do and everything that I say and all that stuff with the word of God. I try to. And that's one thing that I don't stand for. I do not like talking bad about people and none of that good stuff. So I kind of like straight away from that kind of environment because I don't like that. This person's trying to be cool again and I don't see an issue other than that with that person. So I'm like, you know, Lord, what do you want me to do? And as I told the person, like, I'll pray about the situation. So it's been a while and I just feel like, you know, I want the Lord to answer this because I've made relationships with people and it wasn't I wasn't supposed to make relationship with them. Like my old best friends, let's my old best friend, let's just say that. Um, let's just talk about that situation. Like I became back friends with her after the Lord stopped us from being friends. And I was like, well, she's good, you know. I can, you know, help her get back closer to God. And she was just going the complete opposite of where I was going. And that's going to make me stray away, you know. So, anyways, I don't want to make any moves. I do not want to make anything without the Lord telling me it's okay. I don't want anybody in my life that's not supposed to. And I don't want anybody out of my life who's not supposed to be out of my life. So, I'm trying not to lean on my own understanding. Because my own understanding is kind of like, you know what, I'm just... Stay my way, you stay your way, we cool, ain't no problem. But I don't know if that's what the Lord wants me to do because he's changing me in a way where he's telling me to love them anyways. Love them even though they sin differently than you. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm learning. So I talked to the Lord this morning. I was worshiping and he was like, um, make friends with people who pray about you instead of talking about you. And I was like, okay. Like I was saying, like, this person is okay with people, you know, talking about people, especially, you know, people that they love. So I just want to make an understanding with this person that if we are to continue, we need to have some boundaries and, you know, to each their own. If that's how you want to live your life, that's fine. But when it comes to me, I really, 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 really don't like that kind of environment. So if we come to an agreement and an understanding, or maybe it was a miscommunication. Maybe, you know, what happened was miscommunicated in the wrong way. Um, for me, for my understanding, I feel like I got a clear understanding. But I would rather just re revisit that conversation. I know it's uncomfortable or whatever for me, probably. I mean, probably just for me. I don't know. But I don't like, you know, going back to talking about like, you know, like uncomfortable situations like I just feel like, okay, we talked about it, we've moved on, let's just move on. I don't really like revisiting, but anyways, I feel like I'm just babbling. But point of the story, the moral of the story is, is that I'm gonna have to have a conversation with this person and it could go left or right. So, pray for your girl. I'll let you guys know how it went. And I want you guys to comment down below and let me know if you ever had to have a difficult conversation with someone. Um, that the Lord told you specific things to talk to this person about. Because <laughs> it's kind of like, okay, not only am I going to go talk to this person, but the Lord has specific things for me to talk to this person about. <laughs> so it may be uncomfortable for them. It may be heartbreaking because I know somebody came to me like, I need to make friends with people who are going to pray for me and not talk to me. I'm going to take that as disrespect. Like, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm just playing. But seriously, though, I don't know how this person is going to react to that. I mean, maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing. I don't know. But pray for your girl. 
right now I'm going to get my nail situation together. I'm already at my nail desk right now. So I'm just going to lay out a tile and move this. So here I'm going to put the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. I got my little iPad right here. That's where I'm logged in in class. So during lecture time, I don't know if I told you guys, but I use my computer, my desktop computer, and then lecture, I come inside of here, which I can't bring my desktop to. I mean, I do my, my lab inside of here, so I have to switch to my iPad until I can get a laptop because my laptop was actually stolen. It was something wrong with it, and during the whole Black Lives Matter where all the riots and stuff were happening, I actually had my computer at Melrose Mac and they broke into there and stole all the computers and of course my computer was one of which that were stolen so yeah they paid me for it but it still sucks because i really 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 needed my computer and what they paid me because my computer was old wasn't enough to buy me a new computer so unfortunately i just ended up just keeping my desk just going with my desktop and calling it a day so i have this blue roll i got this from lowe's or home depot so it's just a little thicker than using a regular napkin for your um your monomer and your uh, nail powder so i'm gonna be using the odorless one which i i found out that i used odorless before and i didn't like it and it took a long time like it was this one actually professional use only and monomer it doesn't say that it's odorless but i feel like it works like it's odorless anywho it dries way too fast and then I needed to work too fast and me learning nails I can't work fast so I usually always use either the young nail liquid nail or I use hope you guys can see I got this off of Amazon I still haven't used it yet actually I've been using my young nail and then I haven't even been on my nail tip so as of lately I haven't been like doing anything so this is good that I get to jump right back into what I love I don't know why I haven't been doing it I know a lot had to do with me not having nails but I could have easily bought nails and I just chose not to so anyways I'm getting my nails out I don't know what we're doing so I'm just gonna prepare for whatever I have my nails here I have my little dish here I actually have a dish already that has monomer in it so i'm gonna just use that i have my nail brush i love i use this nail brush it's a i think this is a 10 if i'm not mistaken a 10 or 12. i think it's a 10 because i feel like 12 will be way bigger but i love the 10 um however when we got our nail kit we have a six i started off with a six but I didn't like it because it wasn't enough, you know, to put on there. I find myself like having to put more. I feel like a 10 or a 12 is like perfect for the nail bed because you can see like it's like perfect. So you don't have to keep going back in to do that line that you already did if that makes it. If I'm explaining it right. Y'all, I don't know all the terminology just yet. Bear with me. But I think y'all know what I'm talking about. If you're into nails, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to have this out just in case she makes us use this. If not, I'm going to use my trusty O10 brush, nail brush. I got some nail glue right here. But I do have my own clear and I do also have my own prime. And I do have a dehydrator that I never use. So it probably got pushed all the way back here. I use this one, but I don't really even use it. Especially when I'm just practicing on the hand. I just use the nail primer, that's it. But if you were doing it on real people's nail, obviously you would use the dehydrator. So yeah, I pretty much got everything ready to go. I didn't really put nothing up except for the nails and stuff. So I have all of my nails here. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get through all of them. But So this is my little nail setup. I just have my nail um, brush. I have my little nail finger. And I have some nail powder. What is this? This is pink. I don't want to use pink. I'm going to use probably white because this is probably going to be the one that I use the least. So I want to, you know, play with that one. I have the liquid monomer, the odorless one, and I have all my dehydrated stuff and my oils over on this side. Oh, yeah, you guys. Now I'm on break until about 945. Right now it is 843. So 
I guess I can go make me a little snack or something like that. I don't even know. I really don't have an appetite. When I said, let me know. Comment down below if you guys are like this. But when you are like focused on something, like you don't think about eating. You don't even have an appetite. Like I don't, while I'm in school, like I don't really get hungry. It's rare. So I usually like drink like a little protein shake in the morning, tea, coffee, something like that. And I'm able to get through the day. Probably have a little snack. But other than that, I don't really eat anything, you guys. But I need to force myself to eat something because that's not good. So I'm going to do that. And then closer to the time when it's time to come back to class. Of course, you guys are going to be in class with me. Duh. Then we can, you know, blase, blase. I'll be back. So we're back in class, y'all. Oh. And she's telling us what we need to set up. So I actually needed the clear so and I needed the white and the pink because and just can, of you know, the nail pattern. Let me know and we will work Sorry, something out. Out. We can do a French tip okay. today. So y'all gonna see me do a little French tip. And then we also have this here to show us like the different shapes of nails we can have, we can do, all that good stuff. I'm eating popcorn, my favorite addiction. Yeah, I'm gonna move you guys over here so you guys can see. The brush is Kolinsky. So it's um, um it's a dirty. You have a acrylic and um, and you put oh. more liquid. It's always you have a green sanitizer. Yes. To get the monomer out because child, and I'm still in stuff. I forgot she gave us and this. And clean your. This one is to get the liquid. Okay. Pink, clear, and white. White is a pink. little like you have the more clear. powdery okay. than the clear. You have the dark now. You brush it. More fine, shapes. I guess you can say. Pointy, oval. So she's gonna teach us okay. first on this paper so we can get our forms square. right and then today, we'll only move over okay. to the to the name. So she's saying we're only doing square today, so let's so see. my brush is this what one. is new when the brush is so new, the stiletto is a I mean, little bit hard. So just clean it a little bit like this. These two look the same. Make a like a wet. The brush needs to be the brush tip needs to be flat where you keep it this this round. It's flat because when it's pointy, when you apply that way right here, you make a hold. So we don't want our holes. We want the seat. It'll be important when we get ready to do the beads. So this is what they had us draw. I don't know if you can see that. This is what she had us draw to get an idea of okay. what we're going to be putting the put powder in. on the actual nail. Okay. Finally finished class. That was a long day. We actually stayed like all the way to almost 1.30. That's when we originally get out of school, but she lets us out at 12.30 sometimes. Well, most of the time. Anyways, though, I just wanted to let you guys know and update you guys. I'm on hold with somebody too, so I'm trying to make sure that um, I don't lose my place in line. Somebody answer and I don't pick up. My eyelash is falling off, y'all. Looks weird. Let me just take it off. But anyways, I actually talked to the person that I needed to talk to after class. The conversation went well on my part. I feel at peace and I'm happy that we got the talk. Um, so make me feel much better and yeah. 
So I just want to encourage you guys to, if you have an issue or a problem with someone that you should sit, first of all, pray about it and wait for God to touch their heart and prepare their heart for what you're about to talk to them about. Once he gives you that okay, then I say go for it and talk to them because it's going to make you feel so much better. Thinking about it and anticipating about it, you know, just isn't going to give you peace. It's, it's going to make you miserable. So just talk to that person about it so you can be at peace. But yeah, I feel so much better. I did pretty well on my nails. However, it was kind of difficult to do nails on that paper. I don't understand why they having us do that because I've done nails like on human hands and I've done it on like the fake hands. And it's completely different than how they were having us do it on that paper. However, I do see her point because they're just trying to get you to like familiarize with like how to put acrylic on your brush. Sorry guys, my freaking uh, SIM card, memory card was full, so I had to put another one in. But they just want you to learn how to like put stuff on your brush and stuff like that. So I get it, but it was kind of like, this is not how it feels to put it on the hand. So I hope that we don't have problems tomorrow. That's pretty much all we did, you guys. We didn't do nothing else after that. I do have a lot of work that I need to do. I need to draw something in my sketchbook. I have homework I need to do. I need to read chapter 10 um, on nails. And yeah, I'm for sure I have online homework. And then, oh yeah, and I need to style those two doll heads that I had that I showed you guys that had the perm rods in. So I have to style it so I can get extra points for that. And then I have to rewrap those perms again. So I'm gonna try to wrap them two of them a night or at least one of them a night so that I can get them done throughout the week so that way on the weekend I just do two or three and then um be done with it so yes you guys I'll be back after I get off the phone